Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I have a patient with worms in their mouth. I've never had a patient who has worms in their mouth before. This patient came in and she said she felt things crawling in her mouth at night. Well, I've had other patients who've said that before. We've never found anything. And I really didn't expect to find anything this time either. But we took a scraping from under her gum, which, we, which is what we tend to do, and worms, worms, worms. So this is a slide that we did take. It's a video. This, which looks like a kind of a snake, this is all worm. And let's take a closer look at it. Here it is. You can see the segments clearly. We believe they were pinworms in her mouth. Typically, we don't see pinworms in the mouth. Uh, they may be a scarus, which are similar, but bigger. At any rate, these pinworms, they tend to come out at night and they lay eggs in the mouth. These eggs can then be swallowed. They go into the intestine where the eggs mature into adults. So they can be in other parts of the body I certainly didn't validate any of that, but we did see a worm in her mouth. We also have a video of one of these worms in her tongue. So you'll see uh, actually a video of what looks exactly like a pinworm in her tongue. Also, we have some pictures of lumps in her mouth, and these pinworms can burrow under the skin and cause masses or lumps under the mucosa and you can see an outline of these worms. The patient brought in photographs of her mouth with these lumps which were probably also lumps of, of worms that had gathered together. Well how do you get these worms? Well there are several ways. They can be obtained from soil uh, typically, if the soil is contaminated, not so much in the in, in United States, but this lady uh, p imported some plants from Mexico. How she did that, I don't know, but she said a lot of the soil when she was transplanting these plants got into her mouth, and it was about two months later that she started noticing these parasites crawling around in her mouth and it takes about two months from the time those eggs are swallowed to the eggs maturing into adults. There's a simple treatment for the worms. I prescribed something called medbednazole, which is uh, one of the major treatments for roundworms, whether they be pinworms or other roundworms, so that the patient can make as sure as possible that their worm uh, infestation is cleared up. But it's the first time in my many years of practice that I've actually seen a worm on the microscope. So I thought this was a fascinating case. It's a very interesting case, and I think there's going to be more information on it. Worms, 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 never seen them before. And I think probably almost no one that I know of, no dentist or periodontist particularly, has seen worms in the mouth. They were real, they were there. Thought you'd be interested to see and hear more about it. Uh, at any rate, make sure your mouth is healthy. You don't want worms, do you? Have a good day. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love questions, we'd like comments. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We wanna hear from you too. So take care of your mouth. If it's not healthy, you're not healthy. Have a great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.